Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are watching from. If this is your first time, you're bumping into our channel or our page, thank you, thank you for coming. And if you've always been coming back to watch our videos, you are highly welcome. Just yesterday, we made a video telling you guys about how Cora and the family went to drop the kids with Dr. Justin Dean. And you know kids, maybe they are so excited, they haven't seen their dad for a while, so they didn't uh, sleep on time. So Athena didn't have a good sleep. I think she actually slept late. And like you know, you've always been seeing her. It's like she eats, she loves food. She likes eating very well, like her mom. So um, this morning he said he took uh, June to school. And just then when he took June to school, Athena started sleeping. And she started sleeping in the car. And it was hard for him to like, take her up because if she touch her now, you know, sometimes she will wake up and she will not want to sleep. And for the fact that she didn't have a good sleep last night, so he had to hang around for about 1 hour 20 minutes just to wait for Athena to wake up from sleep. And he said he didn't even have time to eat or to shower and even his work, he's been so busy taking care of the children and this is what we are talking about there's nothing like a father and a mother together to nurture their children together to take care of their children together so that these children will have the feeling of both mother and father and they will grow up together as one but anyway dr dean has something to tell us he's saying how are other parents managing or is he the only one in this category? So please, Dr. Justin Dean is asking us, how do you manage kids? Because actually, like you know, it's not easy, both to the mother and to the father. It's not easy, even to the children. Because this week, mommy will be with the children. Next week, daddy will be the, with the children. It's not easy. The children keep going here, there, here, there. It affects them mentally, physically, and psychologically. And Dr. Dean is here to ask us, those of us that are parents, those of us that have lived with our children for ages, how do you manage your children? Please, if you have any contribution, positive contribution, please give him some ideas on how to make children go to sleep on time because it is really draining on everyone. Please listen to Dr. Justin Dean as he asks the question. Thank you so much and we'll see you again in our next video. Bye. Hey guys. So I, I dropped June at school about an hour ago and Athena's sleeping. So she woke up. She didn't sleep as much. She went to uh, how do I say this? She went to sleep a little bit later last night than um, typical. She just was just really wanted to play. So she didn't get to bed until 8.30 or 9. And then she woke up at 6 a.m. ready to play again. Uh, so I took June to school and now she's sleeping. So I've been just hanging out in the car for the last hour. Oh, here she is. Hanging out in the car for the last hour, hour and 15 minutes. Aw, oh, Dina. You're awake now. Just curious if any other parents do this. Do you guys just sit in the car and wait for your kid to wake up? Because I didn't want to take her out of the car because she would most certainly wake up and want to play again. And I want her to get her sleep in. Uh, she, I fed her breakfast this morning at like 6.30, 7 a.m and I uh, got June ready for school. And now yeah, I've been just sitting in the car with scheduling patients and returning, you know, business, um, getting caught up on some business emails and texts. But uh, I was curious what you guys do um, to keep your baby sleeping. Those of you that have kids, that is, because we all know what it's like to have a grumpy baby. And for Athena, she's been a little bit on the grumpy side because she has all these teeth coming in. <clears throat> no, yeah, so, I, so I've been up since 6 a.m. Uh, obviously, I haven't even had a chance to sh take a shower yet or eat breakfast because I've 
been just being a dad, and I, sometimes I forget to eat until later. But I'm curious if I'm alone in this department, or is this something that fellow parents do as well? Because, uh, you know, now I'm debating. She's been sleeping now for about an hour and 20, let me think about it, hour 20. Um, I'm imagining she's gonna wake up in the next 10 minutes or so. Oh, well, hi there, girly. Are you ready? And, uh, oh, now she's awake. So, just wanted to put out this little discussion. Of what do you guys do to 